Hey guys, welcome to episode three of Horror Burgers. I'm here with Nurse Jenny talking about Stranger, Stranger Things. Things season three. And we're here with uh, Grill Em All. All right, and on, oh fuck, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. That's <laughs> huge. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right, in honor that. of uh, Eleven, we opted for the Waffle Dons. Wow, they really, this, is a, this is a big old bastard. This is a veggie mm -hmm. patty. I does not. have so much syrup on it. <laughs> does yours have sriracha? I think? Yeah, sriracha in oh, it. Oh, mine's dripping everywhere. I got the D. Snyder, like a peanut butter jelly burger, but I had them put it on a waffle bun, so. And this is for the win, which is supposed to be a bacon cheeseburger, but it's a veggie cheeseburger. There it is. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. Oh, and uh, for our tasty beverage to wash down, we had to go with the uh, Slurpees to stay uh, on theme. I'm, I'm, it was I'm scared to take a bite. I know, I'm so scared. <laughs> it was not real though. Let's just take a bite and then. Right. Cheers. I decided to go for peanut butter and jelly and eat this on camera. That was a bad idea. There's a waffle. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna be a fucking mess. But it's good. It's really good. <laughs> I really like the season. Uh, I think just within the first few minutes of the first episode was like such a nostalgia bomb that I was already just like so in it to win it. Like I was like I was literally screaming at the screen like yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like and then when they go to see uh, Day of the Dead, like I just like lost my fucking mind. So like within the first few minutes, I was just like all on board for the season for sure. Cry? Did you cry? Of course, I cried. In the first episode? No, <laughs> the ending. Yes, I cried. I also <laughs> cried for the ending. And it didn't stop. Like, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. It was very, very sad. You didn't cry. I, no. <laughs> You're still but, not a crier. But I almost cried, if that, if that counts. <laughs> That's a really big deal. She almost cried. I have no soul. <laughs> That's the same as us crying. <laughs> okay, so then technically I cried. <laughs> Or was it Jenny crying? <laughs> it was a uh, crying on the inside. <laughs> if you're trying to be tough, like I'm not crying. I cried on the inside, on the outside, everywhere. I was just a fucking mess. All the little Easter eggs they had and like references to like old movies and stuff. That was that was your that was your, you caught them all. The, yeah, the super. I no, <laughs> I, brought, I bet you I missed like half of them. But the the movie nerd in me was like having a field day with that too. I think there was like a nod to Halloween in there. A bunch of Back to the Future. Probably some other stuff too that I'm not thinking of right now. Now, what do you think of like how they morph into one giant? Mm, like the blob thing? Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. I don't know if I liked it. Like, I, I didn't like it. At first, I didn't like it with the rats. Well, that was just fucking disgusting. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was gross, but like cool, but I just, I don't know. All the exploding rats were really gross, and then when they, that, uh, forget her name, but when the old woman captures the rat in the cave, <laughs> and then they showed that one explode, I was like, I'm done, I'm done with exploding rats, like, I don't want to see any more exploding rats. And then it gets, like, it, like, oozes out, and then grows its, like, little leg, like, forms into little legs, and, like, scurries <laughs> off, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, so that, it's like the blob now. You know, like, her eating fertilizer. <laughs> that was, that was a good one. That's probably one of my favorite scenes. But, <laughs> just, like, all over her face. Are you dunking your Oreos? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Just eating some Oreos? <laughs> fertilizer. Is that fertilizer? Mm -mm. Do you remember if Billy had any redeeming qualities in the second season? Or would you say he was just a total asshole the whole time? Yeah, he was a total asshole. He didn't do anything where you were like, where you were feel bad for him? Yeah, or you like, oh, he's kind of okay. He didn't do anything at all, right? No. Okay. <laughs> You're trying to feel bad for him? I do feel bad for him now. But I couldn't remember, like, coming out of season two, I was like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure he's just an asshole. Like, I don't think there was any turning point for him where you were like, He's oh, just an asshole, them. but they show why he's an asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's... That was that. Yeah. If you're gonna feel bad, then feel for young I Billy. I, forget, I, got, well, I feel for young Billy for sure. That got that got me in the feels. I think that's why they threw it in because 
you needed to feel sorry for him. Yeah. And <laughs> they had to say, how are you going to feel sorry for him? You had to, yeah. That was, that was brutal though. Like the Billy backstory and being like, this is why he is the way he is. I'm like, oh fuck. Like, <laughs> damn. Damn, guy. Okay, do you think he's really for sure like gone dead completely? Or do you think he's back in season four? I don't know. I think he might be gone completely. Like just completely gone. I think you're probably right, but if Barb is gone, <laughs> <laughs> I almost wore my pink glasses just to be like, like in, yeah. in honor of Barb. Bring her back. <laughs> if she didn't come back, yeah, he's not coming true. back. Maybe. Who's your favorite character this season? I kind of like Robin. Cotton shoes, kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, if I have to, like, new character would be her. Mm. Okay. But I don't know. I'm still kind of a big fan of Dustin. <laughs> I fucking I love Dustin. Well, because he's like the funny nerdy, funny nerdy one. But like, some, like he's still helpful. What cute love song? <laughs> I'm glad that he scored a girlfriend, <laughs> even though they didn't believe it. <laughs> that was so funny. I know that was so funny. I knew she was real. I was like, there's gonna be a reveal. We're gonna see Susie. Oh yeah, too. I was waiting for that. Your bubble like, friends don't believe you, but I believe you, Dustin. I liked um, the little twist with Robin. How Steve was like, "Oh, I actually do like her now," and then she's like, "Uh, no, I actually don't like you." I girls. <laughs> I like that. That, that, was was plot, that was a plot twist. <laughs> oh whoa! I did not see that coming. No, I didn't like you, you asshole. I like the girl who was busy being infatuated with you. I'm jealous. <laughs> that was so good. Especially because Dustin the whole time was like, date Robin, yeah. date Robin, date Robin. And he's like, oh no, she's not cool enough. And then gets over that and it's like, oh no, I, I do like this girl. It's like, psych, she doesn't like you. <laughs> so pretty much <laughs> your child. <laughs> pretty much my, my high school experience. A little bit, I guess. <laughs> You're Robin. <laughs> my outfit wasn't that cool though for my, my high school job. And I get to wear a sailor suit. <laughs> Why, I wouldn't want it. In high school, nobody wants to wear that. Oh, God. Oh, I really liked Alexi. I was really, <laughs> I was legit sad. I was so sad. Got killed. I was like, Alexi, no! I did think it was kind of frustrating that all this stuff is starting to happen. Will notices it. Doesn't say anything. Mike specifically asks him, like, what's wrong? We've already established in season two Will can talk to Mike about this shit. They all went through this together. They all know this shit exists. So the fact that Will says nothing, I was like, I would be so paranoid that like the slightest thing, I'd be like, guys, I think he's back. I know, and even Mike too was like, is everything? Yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, nothing. I'm like, dude. I also feel like it took everyone a long time to share information with each other, which is another thing I feel like gave it down. <laughs> I feel like when, like, they all went through this together, so they all know what? that this thing exists. So I feel like Will starts to understand something's happening, Nancy's investigating over here, Joyce is investigating over here. It takes a long time, I feel like, for them to come together. They don't even all come together until like the fifth episode, I think. What I was wondering is the whole time when they, when everyone was separate, why didn't Eleven try to see where they were? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, she could have realized a long time ago, like, hey, like Dustin, and <laughs> and Steve like they trapped spying yeah. on the Russians. <laughs> like, it, what, like she was able to do that, like just spy on the boys talking. But she couldn't. She couldn't do that earlier. Like that. That would make sense. <laughs> well, where was that? I feel like they were so caught up in their own thing that they didn't. They just thought Dustin was hanging out at the mall eating ice cream with Steve. I don't know. But yeah, that would have been helpful to be like, <laughs> oh shit, they're trapped in a Russian bunker. Yeah. <laughs> And this is all connected. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, they solved it, but I guess it's too easy. It would have been a giveaway. Then there would not be a season. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think there's a season four? Yes. There's already, that's already in the works. I didn't look it up, but I'm pretty sure it is. What do you think is going to happen the way it ended, though? I don't think Hopper's dead. Do you? I think so. I don't know. Really? Everything. Who do you think is in the... I don't know. Oh, that letter just like... Fuck. Just thinking about it makes me like want to cry again. I don't know if it's the waffle burger or if it's the letter, but my heart hurts a little bit. I cry for everything, so I don't. <laughs> it just uh, 
it kind of just builds up. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll all just come out and I'll just have to give you my Stranger Things oh teardrop. <laughs> Put it in a vial and just give it, to, you can give that to me for my birthday. <laughs> a tear of Jenny. I think I cry more of laughter. Mm, okay. I cry for laughter too. But like dying, like when people say, oh, I'm dying, I'm literally like, I can't stop, my sides hurt, like, oh God. I feel like I'm gonna die. So every time you hang out with me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is my problem. I feel like they want us to think it's Hopper, which might mean that it's not, but I'm really hoping it's him. I don't know who it would be. Bob. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe. Surprise, <laughs> the zombie demogorgon. <laughs> it exists. Now, he got straight up eaten. He's not in that cell. There was not enough left in Bob, I don't think. I miss Bob, too. He was the good. Having to rewatch him getting eaten? Like, I, I was like, it's too much. I can't look. I don't want to see this ever again. I can't watch Bob get eaten again. It breaks my heart. Oh, I hope it's Hopper in the cell. I don't know who would it would be. Like, I don't have any guesses. Mmm. Ooh, a okay. Rat. <laughs> a rat. This is a thing. It's a giant rat. <laughs> Season two, they established that whole new storyline where Eleven has like a sister and like all these like kids that were from the lab with these like powers and shit. I thought they were gonna be coming back in season three. It's like they never even mentioned them. But a lot of them were American. So what if the Russians somehow got a hold of one of those kids and oh. that's who's in the cell and they want us to think it's Hopper because they want us to have hope that he's not dead, but he probably is. And it's one of those kids or somebody that like was like alluded to in some other season. And that's the American in the cell at the end of the credits. That's a good, that's a good. That's theory. my theory. Bam. I cracked it. That's a good, that's a good theory. It. We're done here. That's it. Uh, audio. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> But I, I, I want it to be Hopper though. That's my ideal I scenario. I want it to be. But I mean, the way they looked at each other, it's like they knew. <sighs> like she can't she... lose two dudes in the same. She can't. Wait, no, <laughs> no, it's not fair. Maybe she's meant to be alone. No, no, <laughs> she's not. Ugh. But you saw the way they looked that slow motion, the water. I know, eyes. it's because they, he was like. like she knew he knew. You so. gotta turn the keys. And she was like, I know I gotta turn the keys. And he's like, but it's probably gonna kill me. And she's like, I know it's gonna kill you, but I know I gotta do it anyway. And that's what you would want. That was the look. <laughs> but that's exactly what <laughs> they said to each other. I can't do this. We really love each other. We have to end this way. I'm sorry we never got to go to Enzo's. I'm sorry I stood you up. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that was all said with that one we look. Just, <laughs> like, <laughs> So maybe by some weird way he didn't. So maybe they I don't know how. Him. Yeah, so then maybe he's like maybe he got like teleported or something. I don't know. I don't know how that would work, but leave Winona alone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> also, Poor can thing. I just say she looked amazing <laughs> in this season? <laughs> I thought I think so. She, wow. she looked really good this season. Okay, I've been in love with her since I was like three, granted. But as soon as she came on in this season, I was like, oh my gosh, like she looks amazing. It's the hair. She did have good hair. <laughs> Glow I, up. I know I kept looking at the hair. <laughs> <laughs> that volume. Little, like, shaggy look <laughs> with the shaggy bangs. I get it. Got that fringe going. <laughs> Who has your favorite hair in this season? Oh god. <laughs> Probably Mad Max. It was like the most normal. <laughs> I could have stabbed like, Will's hair. <laughs> oh, no. that's the worst. Get a bigger bowl. <laughs> Him and Mike have the worst hair. Who's his worst though? Will's or Mike's? Oh, uh, Will. <laughs> He has like so much bangs that it like extends like to like oh this is like all bangs all of this this entire section is bangs. It's like all one it was so gross and but I think uh, Mrs Wheeler had the best oh, total eighties oh, hair oh yeah. the teasing which yeah. is teasing to, to get ready to go to Motel Six for her swim lesson that was I like that little segment the little <laughs> best eighties hair uh, Billy's hair is oh yeah. is something as well. Mm -hmm. But Billy is something. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite scenes, and it's just in the background, but it's when um, Dustin, Erica, Steve, and Robin 
are in the theater watching Back to the Future, which <laughs> I was like so excited for. Of course. Uh, but when they run out of the theater and then the marquee of the other stuff that's playing, fucking the stuff, I lost my <laughs> fucking mind. Uh, Return to Oz also lost my mind, but I was just like, fuck it. Like, there were a lot of moments like that for me where I was like, like just geeking out on that. the nostalgia <laughs> of all of it. You didn't grow up in the 80s, so is it equally as nostalgic for you still? No, but there's, oh. yeah, no. No. <laughs> but there's like a lot of little things that I'm like, oh, just like kids playing and not being on their phones mm -hmm. type okay. thing and that type of hangout. Like the like, style in which people are interacting with each other and stuff. So they're like, oh, leave your door open, where mm -hmm. I feel like now it's like, I feel like people sneak around and it's easier. Okay. I don't know, it just seems... For that like relationship yeah nostalgia, that makes sense <laughs> well because it's still similar to the kind of childhood that you grew up with like you probably just because you didn't grow up with the same movies that i happened to be growing up on like <laughs> the shirt I, I had <laughs> there's so many back to the future references <laughs> it's kind of like to me in my humble opinion uh probably the most perfect movie ever made so I was pretty excited that there are so many references to it in this. I mean, I've had like a good amount. You barely put anything. I know, it's so messy. Mine is so messy. It has jelly oozing off to my hand. <laughs> and I don't get, it's like, it's really hard to not get it on my face when I feel like I don't even take a bite. She's eating. <laughs> it's so messy. So one of the first times I met Angel, she had a McDonald's cheeseburger in her purse. <laughs> what? You did. You were you were drunk. You were, I, are you surprised? Not like, really. <laughs> yeah. Maybe more surprised that you remember, or like that that was like one of your first impressions of oh. me. <laughs> she just keeps uh, cheeseburgers in her purse. Who is this as a person? A girl who carries cheeseburgers in her bag. Okay, I'm not a horribly poor burger, so it makes perfect <laughs> sense. Circle. That was the foreshadowing, yeah. and then. Here we are, all these years later. This actually is a really good burger. I mean, I'm having a hell of a time trying to eat it, especially like in front of people. Yeah. Look at this Whoa. cheese molded. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> Into the waffle. Cheese. Why does your cheese look like Legos? <laughs> it's like blocks of cheese. Uh, oh, that's not, oh, my peanut butter is in blocks. <laughs> I was like, what happened to my cheese? Come <laughs> on, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> 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 This is one that you eat like when you're just by yourself and no one can see you and you just have it like uh, across here, like you're like the Joker. Or is that just me? Does I, does I eat like that when I'm private? You eat ribs on purpose just so you yeah. can look like the Joker. <laughs> Did you want uh, Mrs. Wheeler to cheat on her husband with Billy? No, and I'm such an idiot. You didn't realize it was her? I didn't realize it was Mike's mom. <laughs> I knew she's getting ready in her bathroom. I still didn't realize it's Mike's mom. And then she walks downstairs and sees her husband and her daughter, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's Mike's mom!" Yeah, she thought about it. She, she definitely thought about it. She Big time thought about it. <laughs> Took off the ring. Thought about it. Oh, that was I was like, "Ooh, this is getting serious right now." Like that was yeah. That scene where Will, Mike, and uh, Lucas. Are playing D and D, and then <laughs> Will gets upset and like leaves. <laughs> Would you ever fucking ever again let your friend go off like that? Like after season one, like what happened in season no. one when he wrote his Bible? <laughs> oh, no. And it's like raining, and I'm like, guys, this is like worse than the night that he went missing and started this whole show. Like, even if I didn't let him know I was following him, I would like secretly follow him and make sure he got home safely. They make a lot of references to the game that I think. It has something to do and then he gave it to Erica so I'm like is she gonna be oh is she gonna be the new one like <laughs> it's like Jumanji <laughs> that has to do with the game Damn boy. now she's going up to down or it's gonna be like season four is Erica and her friends yeah no I would not <laughs> you I would not be down for that <laughs> and she needs them to come back to help her <laughs> I don't know it could work all right Netflix stuff for brothers we have an idea for you <laughs> don't choose that one <laughs> Little America without Erica. <laughs> I was like, you're all damn it. It's so true. 
<laughs> she was just such a brat the whole time. Yeah. Like she never grew on me. I was like, okay, this kid's super annoying. She's like, the she's bratty, probably gonna grow on me. And I was like, never. No. By the last episode, I was like, no, you didn't. You didn't grow on me at all. I feel as equally annoyed as I did in the. Thank you for your help, but I'm still <laughs> very annoyed by you. Now, like music-wise, what season do you think had the best oh, soundtrack? This soundtrack was really awesome. Like this season, I was like fucking loving this soundtrack. I like it, but I think I like season two better. I mean, they're all great, mm -hmm. but I think my favorite was season two, for sure. I've been listening to the season three soundtrack specifically a lot, like this last week. Also, I spoiled some things for myself by listening to the soundtrack before I finished the show. Wow. There's a part on there um, where Dustin and Susie are singing Never Ending Story, <laughs> no. but it starts off with like, Dusty Bunny sing it, and he's like, no, Susie. So I was like, oh. Susie's real, and they have this song that they do as a duet together. Well, why would you ever doubt him? <laughs> I, never doubted, I never doubted him, <laughs> but that was like confirmation. So I heard that piece of the soundtrack, and I knew that part was coming. But I still lost my mind when I watched it and they're singing <laughs> Never Ending Story. Because one, I already freaking love that song and that movie. Of course. So then watching them like sing it together in, in the midst of like trying to save the world, but she like makes <laughs> them sing this, like, that was so good. The yes. Never Ending Story is... Yeah, it's a very catchy yeah, yeah. song, too. I've been singing it for days now. <laughs> sing it. Da -da 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 -da. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> the rats? Oh, and that's the other thing. Okay, so everyone that was kind of like possessed or like taking because it's kind of like invasion of the body snatchers ish for a little bit so everyone that was kind of taken over by the mind flayer they're all just dead now right like they don't get to come back and be like we're not possessed anymore they're just like fucking like they're just I think straight they're up dead yeah, i that's what i think in this tiny town that's a lot of people i feel like yeah. to be like now there's just a ton of dead people like i feel like that's gonna need more explanation than what season two was like you had this small group of people and they're sworn to secrecy now half of this town is like hi we like all these people are dead randomly how would they how would they come back i don't i think like, they're dead too i was hoping they weren't dead because i was like I, like okay. the lifeguard girl like i'm like that's really sad like the newspaper guy sucks but <laughs> and then she killed her parents like that's like what's the most fucked up shit you can think of being possessed and being forced to kill your own family. Like, that's fucking <laughs> awful. That's Brutal. so bad. <laughs> and, like, bludgeoning them. Like, that was, like... I mean, that's not what killed them. But still, like, she bludgeoned her dad. And then is like, here, I'm feeding you to the Mind Flayer. Like, that's fucked up. It barely looks like you ate it. She's looking, it barely looks like you ate yours. Oh, I'm just this is what I have to left. <laughs> Waffles. This is what I have left. Live. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> All right, on a scale of one to five horror burgers, what do you rate Stranger Things season three? I would say a five. Five? Yeah. That's All right. great. Okay. That's probably It's perfect? You would call it perfect? I would say for the most part, other than the things that I've mentioned, but I think okay. it's good. All right. I'm just being an asshole. I also rate it five. I knew it. <laughs> 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 I knew you were way too stoked about everything. I was like, five for sure. <laughs> That's the first five I've given out, actually. Wow. Yeah. And the first five goes to Stranger Things. Yay. Uh, what do you rate your, uh, how many horror burgers do you rate your burger? I would say about a three. three a three? Five. That's low. Ooh, really? <laughs> out, out of five? Slow. Out of five. It's like about halfway. Well, then again, mine is a veggie patty. Like, I feel like if it was like a beef patty, it would be great. <laughs> but it's, it's, it doesn't have the same effect. Okay. Because it's so greasy. That's what I don't like. I feel like that grease would make your veggie patty no, better. It's so greasy. And it's so shiny. Yeah. I, I think I rate this a five. It was pretty fucking good. The D. Snyder, basically PBJ burger, but on a waffle bun because 11. So. And technically this is for the win burger, but without bacon and without the beef <laughs> without all the shit that makes it really taste. <laughs> so that's why it, it okay, is what it is. Fair enough. Okay. I can't give it a true rating because it's not, <laughs> it's not beef. We gotta go back to Grill Mall though. I mean, I've been there before, but I feel like there's so many things on that menu that are like perfect for the show. Many. Yeah. Well, the, the burger that they make on a yeah. waffle uh, bun, I thought it was a chicken sandwich, so I didn't want it, but it's a beef patty 
and chicken and bacon, which was just like excessive. Too much. So I was like, I can't, that's a lot. That's a lot of meat happening. So Way too much meat. Too yeah. much, too much. This house is haunted. I know, so I don't want <laughs> yeah, I it's thought I heard it. something <laughs> earlier and you told me it was the fridge. <laughs> it was the fridge. I don't know what the fuck that was, but earlier it was the fridge. Horror. It only happens when we're shooting horror. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> It's like opening the fucking gate. You open the don't gate. Don't even joke about that. No, that was a bad joke. We don't talk about that. Get the sage. All right, that's it. We're out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, that's all we got. Uh, thanks for joining us for episode three. Check us out next week for episode four. Thank you, Nurse Jenny, for, thanks for joining us. <laughs> She's so polite. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Follow on Instagram. Tell us in the comments what your favorite moment of the season was. Okay, see you next time. Hey guys, welcome to episode three of Horror Burgers. <laughs> Stranger things. Stranger things. <laughs> okay. Stranger. That one was me. Horror oh. burgers. <laughs> oh, see, it works so good with an accent. Mom, are you doing another episode of horror burgers? <laughs> you squint. Poor thing.